Since today is Halloween, I felt like doing something a little spooky. So today we're going to see how fast I can activate every single jump scare in Zombies from Black Ops 2 to Cold War. I've only activated a couple of these in the past, so it's going to be pretty awesome activating some of these for the first time. And we are going to be timing each map individually. And at the end of the video, we'll see which map was the fastest and which map was the longest. So yeah, let's get into it. So here we are loaded up into Mob of the Dead where we got our first jump scare this is actually pretty awesome so we are going to need a little bit of points to buy the mystery box that is going to be the hardest part actually we're gonna have to get a sniper on all of these maps so it's actually a pretty cool easter egg to have these jump scares in the game i never got a chance to get one of my friends with these jump scares let me know down below in the comments if you guys ever told a friend to scope in one certain area and uh got them good with the jump scare i always tried i did try with one of my cousins but the bad thing is that we played split screen a lot so you know it didn't really work out the same but i can only imagine how many people got pranked by these jump scares oh uh, nice and nuke i'm gonna try to maximize our points and i'm gonna grab that nuke a little bit later i don't think this is the last zombie you know what i'm just gonna grab it oh wow it is okay cool so let's try to open this door for free let's see if i can do it let's go free door that is gonna save us a little bit of points let's see if the mystery box is here though okay the key is actually let me zap the zombie don't want to get up and immediately go down so here's this is the mystery box here damn that sucks a lot ah i'm gonna have to buy the mp5 <laughs> dude what am i doing See, I've actually had this jump scare idea for quite a long time since I hadn't activated all of them. I have, I, I believe this one and the Origins ones are the only ones that I've activated in the past. I definitely know I didn't do any of the Black Ops 4 ones. I'm pretty interested to see what those look like. I don't even remember what they are. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward for the later games. But for the Black Ops 2 ones, I definitely did those. Yeah, I'm not even going to be worrying about any perks or anything. We just got to dump all of our points into the box. We need the we need the DSR. That is the only sniper that is in the box, right? Oh, the Barrett. The Barrett. That's the other one. So at least we have two weapons we can get. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I've seen that people have said... Oh, we actually got the Barrett. Oh, no way. But yeah, I've seen people say that you can actually get these jump scares on Black Ops 2 with the Ray Gun Mark II. I don't know how true that is. I've never tried it with the Mark II, I've only ever tried it with the Snipers. But if you guys have been able to activate the jump scares with any other weapon, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I don't know how true that, uh, that Ray Gun Mark II thing is. Uh, we'll zap these zombies. We don't want to get slapped around here. Alright, so all we got to do is just scope into the fireworks, which are, I think over here, right? Oh, right there. There we go. Hey, the classic. For a second, I couldn't see him. Can you actually activate it multiple times? Oh, it's only once. See, I did not know that. I thought it was, uh, I thought you could activate it as much as you wanted. That's, <laughs> it was so quick too. <laughs> All right, well, let's move over to Origins where we get our second jump scare. Alrighty, so now we're on to Origins. So the jump scare location is located in the excavation site, or at least you can see it and activate it from the excavation site right next to Pack-a-Punch. So all we need to do is just open up to that spot, and hopefully by that time we'll have a sniper. Now the good thing about Origins is that you can actually get the DSR out of the dig spot, so the shovel could potentially come in clutch. Obviously, I will still be hitting the mystery box. It looks like the mystery box is over there by Gen 3. But I'll also dig up as much as possible just in case we might get lucky. I usually do get pretty lucky with getting the DSR. So hopefully that luck does come in clutch. And I believe that the DSR is the only sniper with the scope. I'm pretty sure that the Barrett is not on Origins. I could be wrong about that. I mean, obviously the Ballista is on here, but it is the Iron Sights. Until you pack a punch it, but we're not going to be pack a punching it this time. So we do have the shovel. Let's see. Dig Sights. Blood money. We'll definitely take it too. Cannot complain with the points. Let's start hitting the box. Damn, and a double points already? Man. <laughs> this is awesome. What else do we got? Oh, the ray gun. Uh, 
That's that's a good weapon. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's head over to the excavation. Well, I'm sure we'll find some dig sites. Yeah, we got one here. Okay, that's a the one time I don't want the eye staff part. We get it. Classic. Okay, let's see if we have any more dig sites here. It is still snowing though, so we might get another ice staff parts. The Remington. Come on, DSR. Where are you? So this is the church I have to aim into with the sniper. It would be insane if it worked with the Remington. Imagine if it actually got me whenever I didn't expect it. <laughs> I guess we'll turn on the generators. They do give a little bit of points. I'm gonna max them. Oh, and a zombie blood. Don't mind if I do. I almost died getting it. It was worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> in an optimal situation i would like to get a sniper before the pans are around that would be awesome i definitely would not want to fight the panzer with these weapons this would absolutely get me killed unless i get like another good weapon but i highly doubt i will last hit for now come on give me a sniper yeah no what the hell let's go yes uh i'm actually not gonna kill that zombie we're gonna wait might as well save him there's no point in killing him so now we just gotta run up to the church and scope into the fire let's go dude oh wait but i have to buy the excavation door no that's <laughs> two thousand oh nice a nuke I'm going to have to grab it anyway. I don't think this is going to be enough. <laughs> We're so close to having enough. Are you kidding me? Let's see if I can do it without dying. I feel like the excavation spot is such a bad spot. Like, you could easily get stuck in here. So, I'm going to try to be careful. Come on, just let me scope into this area. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's move over to Black Ops 3. Really sucks that none of the other maps on Black Ops 2 had jump scares. The next one is on Shadows of Evil. So let's get over there. Yeah, we even got a nuke too. What the heck? All right. So now we're on to Shadows of Evil where we got to go over to the boxing gym. And right outside is going to be a ship in the water. We've got to aim at with a sniper. Now, I believe we do have to have all of the rituals on so that will take some time but hopefully i'll be able to do it quick enough and it should not be a problem not only that but the rituals also do give us quite a bit of points we are going to be getting two marguas and uh yeah that should set us up with a good amount of points so hopefully we will get lucky with the snipers and i did remember to put the sniper scope on to the snipers usually i have the elo scope on all the snipers i don't know if it matters i've never tried it with the elo scope but i did want to make sure and i just put the normal sniper scope on just so that i wouldn't fail it <laughs> it would suck if i did everything and then uh you know it ended up not working because of the elo scope it's been a very long time since i last activated all of the rituals i'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible but man it's been a good minute so <laughs> i definitely am very rusty at shadows where's the box <gasps> the box is actually at the boxing gym oh this is gonna be good all right there we go that is the all right see up there is the first ritual done let's head over to where should we go i guess we'll go over to the boxing gym sure all right, and that is everything for the boxing gym. We don't have enough to open up the second door, so we're going to have to flip the round. Yeah, we'll just wait. I don't know where this last zombie's at. Oh, there he is. Damn, that didn't give us enough. You know what? I'm just going to hit the box. Let's see what we get. I'm going to risk it all. There is also three snipers on Shadows, or I guess on Black Ops 3. So we got the Locust, the Draken, and the SVG. Let's head over now uh carpenter you know what i'm gonna grab that i'm gonna grab that <laughs> but yeah, i wouldn't mind the extra points there we go that is the ritual done now let's fight the margua let's see if i can pop ahead first nice it's so awesome that you actually get a bunch of points from doing the rituals it'll keep you going like from this margua alone we're gonna get a good amount there we go that's the margua done and we got a max ammo. Not even going to bother with picking up <laughs> the Margo heart. We're not going to need it. I'm going to gamble it, dude. I'm going to gamble it. I was going to wait. 
Well, let's see. Draken. Come on. No. The Weevil's not bad, though. I guess I'll take that. We'll be back. I want to complete the next ritual. So there we go. That's the third one. We are going to have to flip the round. Ah, my goodness. The zombie decided to respawn behind me. Damn. I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> so there we go. The third worm. So there we go. We have the fourth ritual complete. Let's kill the Margua. Ah, my goodness. This zombie is just beating me up. Should I just end the round? No, 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 no. We don't end the round over here, full. Ah, we end the round on accident. Oh, wait, what the hell? That wasn't even a zombie. <laughs> All right, so let's open this up. Let's open a pack a punch. And then we'll go ham on the box. We actually had a good amount of zombies. What the heck? I thought I only had one. <laughs> there were three left. All right, peace out, Shadow Man. Oh, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, this has to be one of my favorite jump scares, too. This is hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, we got to set the timer. I completely forgot. There we go. It's so funny how, like, the animation, it's, like, not even that scary either. It just kind of zooms in and then zooms out. <laughs> the animation is so weird. But there we go. We had zombie Rick Toffin drop in. Uh, it did take us a bit of a minute to do this, though, because we had to activate all the rituals and also get a sniper. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Shadows of Evil. Well, let's move on to Zetsubo no Shima. I actually heard that apparently all the other Black Ops 3 maps are supposed to have jump scares as well, but they just haven't been found. That's really cool. Imagine if I were to go ahead and load up DE right now and find a jump scare that nobody's found before but if nobody's found it yet i definitely won't be able to do that so let's just head over to zetsubo no shiba now we're loaded up on zetsubo where we have one of the best jump scares in zombies history essentially what you want to do is scope into the test tubes in the bunker with a sniper and a doppelganger respawns and he scares us you also can't do this one solo and the activation is random so you could get it after trying it once or you could get it after trying it 30 times sounds easy right well, I had a really hard time getting this jump scare to activate. Honestly, this jump scare is the reason why this video took so long to make. So since we do need a sniper, there is a really easy way to get one every game, and it's by doing the middle challenge where the skulls are at. If you complete the middle one, it gives you random weapons. I believe there is like six weapons, so it's not like completely random. But if you don't get the weapon that you want, you can just let the weapon fade away, and you can activate the reward again until it gives you the one you want. After a couple of rerolls, I got the SVG, and I started opening up to the test tubes. When I first tried activating this jump scare, I thought you needed to hallucinate, get the red tubes and then look at each of the test tubes for 20 to 30 seconds from what i had seen this is what most people said to do so i tried it this way for hours now i tried this in a four player lobby and i also tried it in a two player lobby with just me and my friend by the way big shout out to bob he's an awesome friend of mine an absolute legend for trying to help me out with this easter egg it did definitely suck because he was holding a zombie for a couple of hours so big shout out to him so yeah i couldn't get it to work and after many days of struggling i found out that i was actually doing this completely wrong apparently you don't need to do much you don't need to hallucinate, so that means you don't need the red tubes to activate, and you're also not supposed to look at all of the tubes for 20 to 30 seconds. And honestly, you don't even need power on. I learned that all you need to do is just to scope into the tube that's in the back right hand corner. You activate the doppelganger by looking in the middle of the tube, so it's recommended to just go up and down and then left to right while trying to stay dead in the center of the tube. Then after you do that, you want to start spinning around until you eventually get the doppel to spawn. I did try this multiple times and wasn't successful, so I started losing hope. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. We did it. <gasps> Dude, we did it. 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 Yes! Oh my god, we did it. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I have a toothpick in my mouth. So, holy crap. I've been... Wow. I've been trying to do this stupid jump scare for like a week. You guys don't understand. It has been a grind to actually get this to work. Holy crap. 
I'm finally getting it though. Let's walk into the jump scare. Yes, there it is. 19 minutes and 32 seconds. So I had to use gums. I do apologize. I know for the most part, I don't use gums, but this specific Easter egg was just too stupid annoying. Like it was, it's so hard to get this Easter egg and it's not even like hard steps. It's just that you never know when it's gonna happen. And I tried this a lot in different games what the hell? Some random guy just joined Bazinga. What an idiot. We're going to be quitting. <laughs> I'm so He's coming from Saudi Arabia. Oh, rip that guy. We're not going to be playing anymore. Uh, I'm finally done with this map. It feels so great that I finally did it myself. Now, to be fair, whenever I first tried doing this, I was doing the steps wrong. So there's a bunch of different people that say different things, but there are a couple of people that have given good advice. And the one that I have seen that apparently works guaranteed which is what i just used thank goodness is to look at this green tube that's in the back corner over here now i did not know that you had to look into this specific uh tube i thought that you had to look into all of them i thought you had to hallucinate and all this stuff but i don't know this time it actually worked now i did try just looking at this one many times and it didn't work so i guess it really depends where you look at it or well, i don't even know what happened dude but also interesting thing the person that is rick toffner right now i'm actually using my steam deck as a second account now the reason i did this was because i didn't really want to have somebody else like a friend or something play with me because it was just going to be them sitting and training the zombie pretty much so what i did was just connect my steam deck and made a crawler and just kind of had the steam Deck just sit in there the weird thing is though on the steam deck game it actually started making noises it, it kind of freaked me out a little bit because i was like what the hell is going on i just kind of had the steam deck audio really loud so that i can hear when the crawler got near it and while i was doing the actual steps i was able to you know kind of have it in the background but i started hearing noises from that side and i was like what the hell and it sounded just like the hallucination noises so i thought man what the hell's going on and i kind of looked at it like what the hell's going on why the hell is it playing noises i wasn't actually in the spore gas i was just kind of sitting in a random area so i, was, I kind of freaked me out a little bit but i guess after that happened i got the jump scare to activate i don't know if that's like linked at all or it, i don't even know if it matters which character you're playing as i think this might be the first time i'm playing as takio though the other times i played as rick Toffin and nikolai but that wasn't by choice it was just because like i loaded it in as those characters i don't know if that's like something that changes anything but i'm just so glad that i finally got the stupid <sighs> jump scare oh my god yes let's move on to the other maps now and it actually didn't take that long this time bro i'm telling you i've sat here spinning and looking at the tube for like five hours straight i'm just so glad i did it let's go oh i'm hearing the hallucinations again on this side <laughs> all right so here we are loaded up on blood of the dead so for the blood of the dead jump scare of course we do need a sniper like always but this location that we got to look at is very very close it is right past the catwalk all we got to do is take a look at the left side of the recreation area we'll see a house we scope in there and boom but we do need to get a sniper so that is going to be the hard part now it looks like the box is on that side okay that's that's perfect that's perfect we can hit the uh power switch and then head over to that side and now i'm not sure if you can actually use the auger dmr that's a wall buy i might go buy that it is in times square i believe so I'll, it's gonna be a ways to go but if i don't get a sniper out of the box and the box moves you know too far into the map i might try that out but uh hopefully we can just get lucky with the mystery box that would be awesome <laughs> let's get the power on i think that we can do this without turning on the second power lever i think that as long as we have this one turned on it should work i don't even think the power has anything to do with it but we definitely need this on for the catwalk we do got one hit let's see what we get one hit what will we get a one hit what will we get come on i see the paladin what the hell the ballistic knife okay well at least we can get easy points <laughs> The ballistic knife design is sick. It looks awesome. The box is more than likely going to be leaving in a couple of hits. I don't see it staying too much longer. Come on. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> what? Hey, I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take this. Oh, the ballistic knife is no longer one knife. Please, sniper. Oh, I seen it there. How did I get the Reagan Mark II before a sniper, man? What is this world we live in? Yep. Ah, man. Okay, well, at least 
we have a good weapon that can carry us a little bit. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Let's go cross the catwalk now. With the insta-kill, we should be good. I mean, I have my katana anyway. Might need it just in case. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened there. I thought I knifed that zombie, but I guess not. Holy crap, I forgot how chaotic he gets. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's over by Warden's house. Bro, where are you, Brutus? Show yourself! Whatever, I mean, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> oh, there he is. What the hell? Where'd you come from? Yeah, it looks like it's this way. Oh, but that means we gotta turn the power on. Mother brother. Luckily, though, the Augur DMR is right here. Let's give it a shot. Actually, ew, this probably will not work. Hey, it's worth it. It's worth the try. We're right here. Let's test it. So, we got to scope into this area over here. Let me just clear this area real quick. Um, as you can tell, my mouse is messing up. So, it's over here. Ah, damn it. There's so many zombies still. Oh, Maximo. Hey, yo. There's a house there. Yeah, it doesn't work with the, with the DMR. Damn it. Hey, it was worth a try. <laughs> it was worth a try. Let's go turn the power on then. Oh, man. All right, well, power is now on. We'll get a Brutus, I think, to spawn, right? Oh, my goodness, yo. Stupid zombie. Let's see if we get a fire sale. That would be pretty cool. Oh, no, he gives us a key. Okay, well, now we get the key. Yeah, the box is definitely here. Okay, perfect. We have enough for one box hit. Let's see. Bless me. Come on, man. Oh, wait. Is this a sniper? Oh, it is. It is. It is. I think. I think this is like, it's like a Draken, right? Where it, yeah, it shoots fast. All right, so there we go. This is a cool one. I actually like the Shadow Man and how he looks there. Oh, my God. We got to stop the timer. It's a little bit late. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's Blood of the Dead. Let's go, man. Let's move over to Classified. Alrighty, now we're on to Classified. So for this one, we actually have to do a little bit uh, extra. We gotta actually get to Area 51, which requires us to get Pack-a-Punch open. So we gotta go through that first. Now, luckily though, there is a sniper wall by, so we don't have to hit the box. I don't know exactly how much it is, so I'll try to save up a bunch of points. Uh, but yeah, I'm still very bad at getting Pack Punch open, so I don't expect this one to be the fastest one on Black Ops 4. But we shall see, because Blood of the Dead was definitely pretty good. The main thing I'm happy about is I don't have to rely on RNG. We can actually just buy the sniper off the wall. I wonder why they added the sniper on this map then. Because the sniper wall buy is pretty rare. You don't really see those too often. I think we should get more sniper wall buys, honestly. Because, you know, obviously we've all used the DSR a lot. So they should definitely add more sniper wall buys to maps. Oh, the box is there. It's teasing me. Now, nah, I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Part of me wants to, but nah. Let's save that zombie. Let's go turn power on and then we'll come back. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Alright, so now if I remember correctly, there is a door here. Let's go and activate the DEFCON stuff. We gotta do this to get into the war room, and then there's a part there for the Pack-a-Punch. Perfect. Now we pick this up. Okay, so down here... I should maybe buy a weapon? <laughs> but what, let's just get the parts. <laughs> okay, so it's not there. There we go, perfect. Now we got that. All we need to do is just go back to the top. And, uh, there's a part there. Okay, I'm gonna have to buy a weapon, though, because the welling is dog water. Yeah, this strife is fine. And actually, once we grab this part, we can just build the amplifier right next to it, because the, uh, because there is a buildable bench here as well. There we go. Found it. Easy. Yeah, it's over here. Got him! I gotta hurry, though. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put the amplifier thing soon. Let me just go see how much the sniper is. I think it's in this room. Yep, it's in that one right there. How much is it? Eee! 
4.5. That shouldn't be too hard to make. Damn, I forgot you can't jump through the glass on this one. The glass jumping is necessary. <laughs> it just makes it so much easier down here. Maxima, please. I mean, I'll grab that still. I don't have any ammo. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Is that enough? Is it four? Oh, it's four, five. Oh, there we go, the carpenter. Baba Booey. Oh, what? Baba Booey. There's our sniper. Let's go do this thing. See it? We want to place a teleporter amplifier. Oh, no! I walked into an accident. Oh, wait. Is this, is this right next to the DEF CON thing, right? Where's the exits? Oh, there we go, right here. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm in shambles right now. Now we can go to pack a punch. Time to activate the meme of all memes. Let's do this thing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, I always forget to stop the damn timer. Um, that's hilarious, dude. <laughs> that's that's literally. I, you know what? I take back my statement. That's the best jump scare ever. It's so like. It, what's the point it's such a troll it's hilarious i love it i honestly it did that a little bit better than i thought it would so let's go let's move over to the next map all right so here we are on dead of the night where there are two jump scares the first one is extremely easy the second one there is a little bit of extra stuff we have to do so we'll start with the first one that's pretty easy uh so pretty much what we got to do is just interact with the crystals once we open up the map we can interact with the crystals that unlock pack a punch and then we just keep on interacting with one of the crystals until we get the jump scare so that one is pretty simple and the other one is a little bit more difficult but we'll get into that one once we're done with the first one i never really got into dead of the night as much i did do the easter egg a couple of times actually but i i just haven't really gone back and the last time i played dead of the night for the easter egg was probably like two years ago Luckily, though, the spawn area is pretty similar to Zetsubo no Shima, and the spawns are crazy fast. All right, so we have the first crystal here. We'll start getting some kills for it. I, I will definitely have to buy a weapon for this. What's here? Oh, Spitfire. I think I'll buy that. I'll uh, I'll throw some grenades and stuff, <laughs> and maybe use my staff just so we can get enough kills. These steps to open a pack punch are actually pretty cool. It does take a bit of a minute, but it, I think it's pretty fun. Perfect. We got it. Let's look into it. Actually, I wonder... Okay, so I think this is a small clock. I wonder if I could just stare into this. Like, a ton of times. Or do I... I think I have to have pack much open. Okay, so... This one should be the one that's in the billiards room. I think it's this one, isn't it? Yep. Wow, what are the chances? Ah, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have, uh... Ate those shots for the reload. It's okay, it's okay. Nice, we did it. I always lose myself on this map. Oh wait, I forgot to pick up the part from the clock. Although we gotta run back. Your boy almost forgot the most important part about this. Can we interact with the crystal again? No, we can't, okay. Okay, so the wine cellar. There's the crystal. We gotta get some kills here again. Okay, there we go. Gaze into the stone. Let's see what perk is this one. Oh, it is this one. Okay, so we gotta get vampire kills now. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my stuff. I think we gotta get like 15 kills or something. I don't remember exactly how many vampire kills we're supposed to get. Oh, there we go. Perfect. That was easy. Oh, this spot's getting a little crowded. Here, let me uh, let me just get like a couple zombies. This is, this is a little too much. <laughs> I need that max ammo, man. Let me get to the max ammo. Okay, let's see what the stone tells us. Okay, that should be the doll that's over here. I think I remember where that one's at. There we go. Let's follow the ghost now. Yeah, it was a good idea to definitely just leave some zombies. Okay, it's going to fly over there. Ah! 
There we go. What the hell? Why would you go? What? What was that? She cut through <laughs> the walls, but it didn't even make a difference. What we, we gotta go back? What the hell are you doing, ghost? These are some unnecessary turns. Sweet. There we go. That is another one. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, so now that we have Pack Punch open, now what we gotta do is just go over to one of the crystals. I'm gonna be going over to the green crystal. That's what I've seen a lot of people go to, and that's how a lot of people get it. So we'll go to that one. And what we gotta do is just interact with it a bunch of times. I believe it's like three times. I could be wrong with that. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. What am I doing? Yeah, we gotta interact with it a couple of times, and then we should get a jump scare. Okay, so yeah. I guess we could have interacted with it earlier. It just doesn't say that you can interact with it. You know what's actually kind of cruel about this as well? Like, uh, if you, for example, forgot what the crystal showed you, and, I don't know, maybe you had, like, short-term memory loss or something, or, you know, you just could not remember what it was. If you do this enough times in a normal game, while you're trying to do this step to unlock Pack-a-Punch, and you just kept forgetting... You would more than likely get jump scared, but uh, it, it would suck if you just kept on forgetting what the item was. Or I don't know, maybe you just had low graphics or something, you couldn't even tell what it was. But it's weird, because yeah, this would actually get you. This is definitely the easiest one, we don't even need a sniper for this. Six. There we go, we got it! Let's go! So for the second jump scare, I decided to restart the game since this one was going to be a little bit harder. The actual steps to activate it is extremely easy, but doing it is what's kind of hard, especially since I'm solo. We actually don't have to have a specific weapon or anything. You pretty much just have to go up to a specific painting and stare at it until you get the painting to move. It's definitely a unique jump scare, but it's definitely cool. So you have to make sure to get hit by a vampire while looking at the painting. And once you get the veiny red screen effect, you can't stop looking at the painting. If you do go down, you have to restart the entire thing. So you have to stay alive while looking at the painting. Like I said, this is a little bit difficult in solo. So I did a little bit of preparation beforehand. I definitely made sure to get the wonder weapon since it does do some splash damage. I figured it would help kill some zombies around me. My plan was to just get really close to the painting and the wall and then just shoot it. And it would kill the zombies around me. And luckily it doesn't do splash damage to me. So I definitely knew that I needed to get that weapon. Then I also went ahead and bought Dying Wish and Quick Revive in case I got hit a lot, and I also went ahead and built the shield. So to get a vampire really early on in the game, all you have to do is just do the crystal quest to unlock the Pack-a-Punch. The one that points out a perk machine, if you go up to it, you have to get a certain amount of vampire kills, and vampires will spawn there. So what I did was just activate that crystal. I didn't actually kill the vampires, I just took one of the vampires and walked it all the way up to the painting. This was a really good move because early on it's a little bit hard to get a vampire. I actually don't know what rounds the vampires even start spawning in on, but this guarantees it and it just makes it a lot easier. So I brought the vampire over to the painting and let it hit me i got the red screen effect and just stared dead at the painting let's go let's go we actually got it nice uh that one took a couple of attempts i'm not gonna lie honestly i don't even know what the hell i did differently this attempt i Pretty much just kept trying it. I don't know if it's random. I mean, hey, I don't know, but <laughs> at least I got it. That's what I'm happy about. Alrighty, so here we are on Alpha Omega. Now, on Alpha Omega, there is two jump scares. One, which is the classic one where you got to scope into a certain area and you'll get the jump scare. Then there is one where you have to buy the Galvanuckles and you have to melee 30 mannequin heads and that will enable another jump scare the mannequin jump scare so let's get to it of course we do need a sniper for the first one so while we're working on getting the power on and the pack punch open because we have to do that we'll work on getting points and hopefully by the time we get the power on and the map open we'll have a sniper out of the mystery box so yeah it should not be too difficult i actually didn't know that there was a second mannequin jump scare that is pretty cool i know the avogadro jump scare but i didn't know there was a mannequin one that's pretty cool let me know down below which jump scare is your favorite so far 
I definitely think that the Mob of the Dead one is just like such a classic one. That's one of the ones that I really, really like. But of course, the old gen Richtofen jump scare is a classic on Black Ops 4 as well. It's kind of hard to choose between those two for me. So I think I'm going to focus on getting enough points to buy the Galvanicles first. And then we will go about saving for the mystery box because... I just kind of want to get the Galvanicles out of the way, and plus, I will be able to use the Galvanicles to get a bunch of points anyway, and I think it's going to be better if I just buy the Galvanicles first, especially for points. And I won't have to worry about buying a weapon anyway, so it's going to be a pretty good investment early on. There we go. Let's get the Galvas. Pop! Also, now that I think about it, is this the first map where the OG crew has the Galvanicles? I don't know why I never thought about this, but... I can't think of another map that has the Galvanicles that are available for the OG crew. It's usually the Victus crew, right? That's crazy. I never really thought about that. Okay, well, let's start moving towards the generators. All right, there we go. We got the power on. So let's start working on getting some of these mannequins. So here is one, Baba Booey. And then we'll look down here, but I definitely got to go up and get the houses cleared of the gas. But let me see if I find any more in here. Usually, I don't really look for mannequins that much. So I don't really have an idea as to where they could be. As long as there isn't any mannequins that blend in too much or are, like, hidden or something, I should be able to find them all pretty easily. I'm going to kind of go area by area. I'll definitely have to double check the bottom because I think I missed one area. I think I missed the storage area. Actually, change of plans. We're going to focus on the ventilation stuff first. And then we'll go for the mannequins. Just so I don't have to worry about this. Galvan knuckles are mad clutch. Let's do the box. Let's see. Come on. Give me some with the scope. We got one more hit. Sniper. Mozu. Nice. Trading a pistol for another pistol. Okay. So now we have the ventilation stuff turned on. Um, let's start looking for more mannequins. They're all around the map. I guess I'll wait until I get the activation noise. And then I will be back. Because it'll probably take a minute for me to find all of them. I have a feeling that I got all the ones underground. I double-checked and everything. I should be good. Now, there were a couple of mannequins that were in the dark. So, they were a little bit hidden. <laughs> uh, but I, I think I got them all. Now, let's start working on the houses. I believe I got all of these. Let me actually double-check. No, I didn't. Haha. -ha. Good thing I did double-check. If we do get a sniper, though, I can just knock out the first jump scare. Aha! Let's go! Okay, we'll, we'll head towards the back of Greenhouse in a second. Ow, ow, ow. I'll double check the mannequins, but let's get this uh, one done here. Aha, right there. There we go. The Avogadro jump scare. Ah, you little asshole! No! No, I don't want to kill it because I don't want to end the round. <laughs> but that's the Avogadro jump scare done. Let's uh, double check for the mannequins then. I must have missed one. Yeah, because you'll know if you did it if you get a mannequin right here. And we haven't. Even if I did miss the little sound that it makes uh, after you get all the heads, there should be one right there. So we are missing some. I think I know which one might be the last mannequin. And I say it because I thought you can't hit this one, but apparently there is a way. That is the last one we needed. You suck, dude. I tried hitting that one earlier, and I couldn't hit it. I guess I was trying from, like, a weird angle, maybe. But now let's go over to Pack-a-Punch and get this damn jump scare. So, yeah, like I said, there's going to be a mannequin standing right next to the Pack-a-Punch machine. And now we got to do... Your pack punches for the funnies. What I'm gonna do is look at it and boom! That is it. 33 minutes. Ah! I don't think you have to actually pack a punch, but I had enough points, so why the hell not? But uh, that one is pretty awesome. <laughs> but let's get over to the last map for Black Ops 4 Tag Dirtoten. Now we're on to Tag Dirtoten. Let's get these two jump scares done. So the first one we activate by going to the front of the boat and we look into a piece of paper you actually don't need 
any scoped weapon. You can actually do this with any weapon, I believe. And there is one where you have to scope into the top of the lighthouse. Now, for that one, I believe you do need a scoped weapon. So we are going to need to get one eventually. But we obviously have to open up to this side first for power and everything. And we'll, you know, we'll do that. I think you have to have power on too. I could be wrong about that. And the other thing I forgot to mention is that you actually have to get to that area, the facility over there. You have to be in that area and scope into the lighthouse from that spot. So we got to do the little quest to get there. Ah, I'm freezing. <laughs> what the hell? You can get the dynamite by just freezing the zombie in the cold water. I thought you could only get the dynamite piece if you throw a snowball at a fire zombie. I didn't know the water worked too. Oh, that's good to know. I don't know why I never tried it. <laughs> it, it makes sense. I mean, they do freeze. Aha, and before I forget, and it has been a minute since the last bloody tag, we got to turn this power on. Don't want to forget that. <laughs> All right, we have enough points. Let's go towards the first jump scare. This is where it's at. Now, I have seen people activate this with the strife. I'm pretty sure it works with the welling. So all you got to do is just scope into this piece of paper for a couple of seconds. And the Margua appears. It's sick as hell. I believe the paper that you actually stare at says something about a Margua as well. Uh, I couldn't actually see it there. But yeah, that is the first jump scare. Five minutes. Easy peasy. Now it's time for the real jump scare. And we do got to do the crank stuff. So I got to look for the crank that's actually a pretty good jump scare too if you want to get one of your friends i feel like if it's too complicated with getting a sniper it's not really going to get them as easily but this one is good because you can do it with any weapon i think so you could easily be like yo dude look at the piece of paper look what it says it says something crazy and then get them real good like that <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did not get stuck. <laughs> uh, twelve fifty for that. Damn. Okay. All right. The second power lever. The main power lever, I guess you could say. I don't know why I just grabbed that. I'm just so used to grabbing that. Come on, dude. Drop the stupid thing. Okay. So there is the zip line thing. Actually, where is the box? It looks like the box is actually inside over here oh it's it's got to be at the bottom that's where it's going to be right yep it's right there we have enough for one box hit what are the chances i get a sniper come on dude please give me the luck of course of course well i guess we'll just stay in this area then damn okay we got a double point so that's gonna help come on dude give me a sniper no Wow, we are really not getting a single scoped weapon. This is crazy. Wow, the box moved. <gasps> no, dude. This was such a good area, too. All I had to do was just go all the way back up to the top, and we would be already there. Let's see where it goes now, though. Hopefully, it's an area we already opened up to. It's, it's over there. That's actually even better. It's already going to be in the area we have to go to, so let's head over there. Oh, the, there's a Kashka on the wall. Oh, man, I wish I would have known that. I mean, I'm definitely going to buy it now, then. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to pull up my katana because I want to get as many points as I can right now. Bro, I did not know there was a sniper wall by. Is that a double points? Max ammo. What the hell? Where'd they all come from? They came from that hole right there? It's crazy. Wait, we're not going to have enough to buy it right now. It's 4.5k. 300 points, come on. No. We're so close to getting it. Okay, there we go. Wow, we have just enough. Honestly, I find this jump scare extremely funny. But look. <laughs> it just looks like a normal dude. <laughs> Alright, but that is it for Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 had a ton of jump scares. Really awesome. Um, but let's move over to the last jump scare for the video. 
we're going to end off with Cold War. Alrighty, so here we are on D-Machine. So I did start with the Sniper. I don't think we actually need to, though. If I want another weapon, I'll just buy it, but I'd rather have a Sniper now. So what we got to do is go into the Dark Aether portals, and once we're in there, we have to shoot a couple of zombies. Uh, I believe we have to shoot five zombies in total. Now, this might take a little minute because... As we all know, going into the portal, you only have a limited amount of time. So I hopefully will be able to find all these zombies pretty fast. If not, I'll have to go into multiple portals until I finally get it. But um, yeah, this is a pretty cool jump scare. It's definitely very unique. I have never had this jump scare in a normal game. I've heard that you actually can get this jump scare in many ways uh, from hitting the mystery box, either getting the bunny or getting the ray gun. But there is a method to get it in a different way, which is the way we're going to be doing today. Because if I hit the box and I try to get it that way, the chances of me getting it are pretty slim. I was going to start with a melee weapon like the E-Tool, but some of these zombies you have to shoot in the Dark Aether are kind of far and a little bit hard to see, and I'd rather have a sniper scope just to make sure that I can see them well. I guess we'll have the box for a weapon, because I want to get something else that's not a sniper. Imagine if I get the ray gun. Wow, this is even worse. <laughs> I forgot how spooky the facility is whenever you don't have power on. It is very dark. Okay, let's go into the dark aether now. So we have no ammo, but we're going to work on building the pet machine. Actually, we might not even need to build the pack punch machine. So there's a possible spawn to get a zombie over here. I love how I brought the freaking sniper in, and it doesn't even look like we're going to be using it. Yeah, it looks like we don't actually have to build it, so... Let's just look for these zombies that are in the sky. Uh, is that it? That was it. You seen it? You see how small that is? That's why I wanted to bring in a sniper. Okay, so we're probably going to get kicked out of the dark ether. It's okay, though, because we can just keep on coming in and it will still save. So it's not like we have to do this all in one dark ether teleport. We can do this in five if we need to. Damn, you actually have a good amount of time in here. I never really stayed. So I never really know. Oh, never mind. We're getting teleported right now. Well, <laughs> so we do got to get 25 zombie kills to open up the teleporter again. It's 25 kills each time we get kicked out. So yeah, 25 kills is nothing. So we got enough to go back into the teleporter. Let's do this thing. Okay, so let's check this spot. See if there's a zombie in here. No zombie in there. Okay, let's see. There should be one in here there's not one in here okay it's got to be in this spot here because this is where we didn't shoot it last time is it oh there it is what am i saying it's right there what the flip okay um let's check oh let's check over in this area first is we got two of the five zombies no okay it's gonna be it's going to be down in the bunker for sure then. Let's check this area here because this one is a little bit hard to see. No! No! <laughs> I shot randomly. I don't know. I don't think that one worked. Actually, I, I should buy stamina up. Let's go ahead and buy it. It's literally right here. Ba -ba -boo yeah, look at how much faster we are. Holy crap. Now with stamina up, we might be able to get all three of the zombies that float especially if i did get that one zombie whenever i sprayed in that one little area if i got that one we might be able to do this because that would uh that'd be awesome if i did but i kind of doubt i did i just feel like it didn't spawn in that area okay that one we did get so we didn't get it when we sprayed but i did see that we got it there it's a little hard to see especially because it's so dark Damn, it's not there. We're going to have to go all the way back up. It's going to be on top of the plane now. Ah, but it's going to take so long to get back to the top. I was hoping that I would get both of the zombies that spawn underground and then go to the top. But if we have to go up and then back down, it's going to definitely hurt our time. Yep, right there. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It's the last one. Let us get it. I hope I have time to go up to the top and get the reward. So that's the last zombie there. Now we just got to go up to the top. Oh, it's this way. We got to go up to the top. 
We literally got to go to where that Aether Tunnel is at. Oh, we don't have enough time. We're going to have to get it. We're going to have to get it next teleport. Oh, man. But we got all the zombies. Now we just got to worry about the reward. And if you guys don't know, this is kind of like a small Easter egg where you can actually get some pretty cool rewards. But you either choose to get a reward or the jump scare. So we're going to opt for the jump scare, obviously, because that is the challenge. But I believe you can get like kill streaks and stuff like that. And maybe even salvage and stuff if you do get the rewards. So now we're in for the final teleport. Let's do this thing. So now all we got to do is go to this area here. We see the zombie up there. If we walk under it, it should activate the jump scare. There we go. The jump scare. Booyah. I hope it didn't lag too much there. <laughs> I seen that it dropped a little bit of frames. I apologize if it did. I don't know why it did that. Hopefully it didn't. But that is the jump scare there. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Now, if you guys do want the rewards, you have to shoot the zombie. It's pretty much the exact same zombie that's floating in the other areas, except that one is the actual final one. So once you shoot that one, it'll burst like a pinata, I think, and drop some rewards for you. But we opted for the jump scare if you walk under it. That's actually a pretty good one for uh, getting your friends. Also, I forgot to mention, there's a couple of these that are pretty awesome to get your friends. Like some of them, I, I talked about this a little bit earlier, but some of them, you know, you have to kind of prepare for it. You got to get a sniper and then you got to tell them to scope into a certain area. But this one I think is a pretty good one. Just tell them to walk under it after you do it or something. Uh, this one's pretty good. So is the Alpha Omega one, the mannequin one to be specific. If you do the mannequin steps on your own and then tell your friend to go pack a punch the weapon and boom, it will, uh, it will definitely get them. It'll get them good too. That's like one of the least expected ones, but uh, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, comment down below which other challenge I should do next. All right, so now it's time to take a look at the list of the map times. This is definitely pretty interesting. Now, for Dead of the Night, I did decide to combine both of the jump scares into one because this is the only map where I decided to restart and have two separate games for both the jump scares. I decided it'd be fair to just combine the times, especially because other maps have multiple jump scares. I just decided to combine them because it's kind of weird to just have them as two separate times. I am pretty surprised with some of these map times. If I'm being honest, Zetsuba no Shima should be at the number 10 spot, but because I did get it at 19 minutes in that attempt where I got it, we're going to put it at number Seven, just to make it a little bit fair but if i were to place that's one ashima it'd probably be number 10 because it actually took me like a week but because it was on the attempt i'm just gonna put it at 1932 i swear that that's one ashima one is so hard but i also did mess up because i did stop the timer a little bit late on some maps and i did correct it in this list but yeah it's pretty awesome that mob of the dead was the first spot because it is the first map that brought us a jump scare so yeah and happy halloween to all of you guys if you guys do not celebrate it then happy tuesday but uh, yeah, also let me know down below in the comments if you guys dress up as anything. Let me know what you guys are going as. If one of you guys are going as a zombie or a zombie's character, you guys are goaded for sure, like already. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one, fellas. Take care. Peace out. See ya.